Welcome to the exclusive. I'm your host, Sharon Tharp. I'm very excited about my guest today. I may or may not have beelined it to them at this Big Brother premiere party because we've never really talked and I've always been sort of uh, wanting to interview this person. So I'm very excited uh, to welcome Big Brother 18 and 19 runner-up Paul Abrahamian. Thanks, Paul, for being here. I, like, it's really cool that you are doing this. <laughs> Dude. Thank you for your uh, persistency. And she does not lie when she says she be beeline- not beelined it. I don't know. I don't remember that. But you have like <laughs> asked me to be on this show periodically over the course of the pan- past ten years, which yes is insane. I would have given up on my ass a whole a whole long time ago. But I appreciate your patience and thank you for I don't know whatever you whatever like <laughs> it's obviously important enough for you to ask me, you know. So, well, Paul, you don't do a lot of these, and I really do appreciate that you're like trusting me to do this because, listen, I know you're. Do, not, I, like, I don't know. You seem. You seemed. I'm gonna be honest. I'm fucking totally not, and I've turned down <laughs> so many of these kind of things because, like, I I just don't fucking. I don't know, but I really appreciated how much you gave a shit. So, like, mm-hmm. anybody who gives a shit that much about what they're doing, I can't help but but appreciate it. So. Yeah, I like I like the, uh, the the care and passion that you put into whatever it is you do, and you you seem to really believe in yourself, which is nice. Well, thanks, Paul. Um, yeah. I did want to briefly touch on that BB party because, like, when I saw you, did, did you have fun? Because you don't do these things often, like, or were you overwhelmed? No, it, by the fre- situation? It, it absolutely fr- it freaked me the fuck out. Yeah, to be honest, because like I, I don't I don't like being like fucking perceived like that. Um, but I mean, it's also cool because everybody is really nice. But like, I don't. But at the same time, like, no, like, yeah, like I was gonna say everybody's a stranger, but like everybody is a stranger until they're not a fucking stranger. So what does that have to do with anything? You know? True. Uh, yeah. Everybody. At any time I've been in these spaces, it has always been pleasant, except for like in the beginning, like. I did like these meet and greets because I was like twenty three or like twenty two, mm-hmm. and it seemed like a no brainer. And then people would just get, it's not their fault. Like this, these like clubs and shit would just get people absolutely plastered and like wait until the last minute to bring out the talent. Right. So people would just be drunk, but they were just there having a good time. But then they would like, kind of like grab ass and like touch at me or like try to kiss me and shit. And it'd be fucking weird. And then I'd I'd have to tell people to like chill the fuck. I'd be like, yo, this is absolute degenerate human behavior. You need to never not do this. You need to calm down. And then it it, it was very, yeah, it was like very like people like felt like I owed them that because they like waited in line and did all that stuff, which is valid because they paid money to do that. And then it like took a while for my brain to register that like, oh, like you should be mad at yourself for agreeing to do this. Um, And then also like it's not their fault that like the club makes them wait till the end because they want you to like buy a bunch of drinks and they're shit canned and happy to see you. You know, I like make excuses for shit like that, but it started to get a little bit like I felt like a fucking I don't know like I like I used towel like like it was just like I was just like a fucking photo opportunity and I was like this is so fucking lame like <laughs> I don't I don't like this I don't like the way this makes me feel uh but like everybody was always nice you know what I mean like nobody was I've had like weird interactions for sure but like everybody is like kind spirited when they mm when they like approach me. So it was nice. Cause like everybody was nice at the event, but everyone's just like, Oh my God, you. And I'm like, fuck, like mm-hmm. what? That's so jarring too. Cause like, I don't like really relish in that world. And like, I don't like put myself out there like that. I'm very like in the fucking puddles and like shadows. Uh, so like when people still react to me, like super high energy like that, it kind of just like, I'm like, damn, cool. Like, you still feel that way about me? That's cool. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, okay, huh? you know, like that's sweet. It's not. It's not. It's not. It just confuses me, and then I get overwhelmed. But like, I was just smoking a numerous blunts, so it was okay. I was a little docile. But then I sometimes feel like I freak people out. <laughs> They're like, "Yo, this dude is a little, a little bit unhinged," and I'm like, "Well, what are you gonna do?" You know. <laughs> Well, I, I, yeah, I totally understand. Like people, I can't even imagine. And in fact, you just reminded me how young you were when you were on this show, which is freaking Dude, wild. 22, 23. I was, yeah, I was, I was, I mean, I was a, an adult, but like 
for for somebody who is not like in the media world, like you, you have nothing, you don't know anything about that, and you're not like, and then you just do some shit like that. It's pretty. It's a pretty dramatic like change in like reality and like lifestyle. So it definitely like freaked me the fuck out a little bit. But like, I guess like worse things can happen, right? Like, yeah, there's definitely. There's def- there's definitely worse experiences people can have than like going on reality TV. It always makes me feel so silly talking about it that way because like, <laughs> like it's like bro, like like I always feel like I'm not valid because it's like shut up, like you were on, like you privileged, like fuck, you know what I mean, like like you were on like television yeah. and like all that, you know. People see it like that and they're like, dude, shut up, you know what I mean, like your life must be so great or this that and the third, but like you know, it comes with its own weird ass like things that you have to like deal with after or like changes and like people don't get that and they they like dehumanize like tv people or like i i guess like anybody who's like in the public eye gets like dehumanized for some reason for and sure. then like and then with reality tv it's like i think like a step further because it's like it's 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 like shown or perceived to be like very vulnerable like people are like their authentic selves which is not true and also like what's being shown on the fucking tv is also like not true obviously only so much can be like faked it's so funny sometimes people get hate and they're like they edited me wrong and it's like they can only edit you wrong so much for sure they can edit you wrong like totally but like 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 i don't know like that's my favorite it, it was the editor that, yeah like that goes so far like you're obvious you obviously suck a little bit you know what i mean like maybe you know so it's just yeah i don't know i i don't know where i was going with that point no it makes sense but, um and i know like listen you were you were young. It's like a lot of weird experiences. You, I feel like, were on TV. It was weird as fuck, bro. For, it was super weird. Was for like a few weird. years, because you also were like hosting comps and other seasons. You were on Candy Crush. Yeah, they you put me on like on the TV. Bold and the Beauty. Yeah, bro. I saw, what is his name? Fucking Mario Lopez. I almost shit my pants. That was so funny. I was like, bro, I have been watching you on my grandma's TV since I was like six or five. I don't know. <laughs> Fucking Mario Lopez. He's a very nice dude, though. I don't know. Maybe he sucks. I feel like everybody in Hollywood just sucks these days. Like, you're like, oh, wow, I like that guy. And then, like, an article comes out and they've been, like, torturing fucking baby children in their basement for, like, 15 years. And you're like, god damn, like, why does everybody have to be horrible? Horrible, yep. <laughs> but, what do you, you know, what are you going to do? Well, so, obviously, like, you were on TV for uh, many years. Then the pandemic hits. And I remember it was BB22. Like, all stars are coming around. And you put out a statement, like, listen... I'm focused on my mental listen, health. I'm focused on my listen, art, fuck my music. Y'all. <laughs> is that still the case? Is that still what you're focusing on now? Is just like art, music, travel, family? Because I see you're traveling a lot as well. Yeah. Um, music, I'd say, is less these days. Because, like, honestly, like, I spend a lot of, like, money and, like, time and energy and, and whatever, like, doing music. And, it was, and I've been playing music since I was, like, fucking... Uh, this is my little house in Burbank, California. I've got a, a cute little pomegranate tree growing right now. Damn. Yeah, I want to, and I also want you to tell everyone what you're doing over there because you're just, you know, doing your little, what, what are you doing? Oh, my little skull? Uh, wait, is there, oh, the bison? It's, I, it's not a bison. I think it's a cow. I don't think that's a bison, but mm-hmm. I got that like eight years ago and I've just had it because it was just really pretty. The teeth were complete. It's got like long horns that are really symmetrical. I, I really like symmetrical horns. On ant- like when nature is symmetrical, which is like honestly most of nature is symmetrical, it like scratches an itch in my brain. So whenever there's like horns on an animal that are symmetrical, because they're not always symmetrical, either they're born funky or they like fuck it up when they're like babies and then the horn gets weird, or like they just fuck it up by being an anim- a wild animal. So uh, I'm not really doing anything with that skull. I think I'm gonna hang it up on this wall though back here to make it look a little like California Western. Uh, but the human spine bits, so I had this human spine and it was like missing pieces. So I thought, well, how can I make this like useful now? Cause it's, it's, it was like an antique, like uh, medical specimen. They used to like use these bones to study, but since it was like not complete, I, so I, I completed what was complete. I like put them into groupings and I make little, I'm making like little stands so that I can like display them in little groupings. And like, that makes them more useful than like being, a part of like an incomplete spine you know Damn. and then people so are you, people you sell this or you just like put it on display uh both i okay. i sell i have a little boutique museum 
in New York, in Brooklyn, that I have been collecting and like restoring like artifacts and like old art or old like indigenous art um, for over 10 years now. I mean, antique, the antique world was always like in my family, like my great grandfather and my grandfather were like antique and like artifact archaeologist dudes in like Lebanon and what? and fucking Turkey, Armenia. Yeah, well, what was Armenia back then? Modern day Turkey now. Mm -hmm. and like syria egypt and shit like they were like doing indiana jones shit back then not like colonizer shit like it like straight up like they were from the lands and they were like yeah. just going around looking for old stuff back then it was like that you know um and then i think like my grandpa sold some stuff to like the fucking i don't know british museum or some shit i don't know back then it to, to like escape war he had like this ancient byzantine empire like I don't know, a fucking bracelet that was like a fucking family heirloom. And he like sold it to like the British Museum or some shit to like get his family out of war zone in Lebanon. And they like, what? yeah, it's yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I and, guess like I I'm have sitting, this. He, I'm sitting here interviewing about a freaking reality show, and this is <laughs> this is this is cool. Yeah, so like, dude, there's a lot of like stuff all over the world, like from co like other collectors and stuff. There's like like really important artifacts all over the world, and oftentimes. People who know about them die and they get passed on to the family that has no fucking clue what, what this stuff is. Yeah. And it like ends up as like Halloween decoration or like a tchotchke on the fucking wall. And then, you know, they die and then their kids definitely have no fucking idea what it is. I actually got this crazy um, Pacific Islander art that honestly belongs in a fucking museum. And I'm, I, I've, I've talked to some of my friends that are um, um, from from that region. They are indigenous from that region, and I'm trying to help them, like, get them to 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 help me figure out what to do with it. Because she said the lady that I got it from straight up was having a garage sale, and there was like junk around, and then there was these artifacts that looked super out of place, like like they were like legitimate looking, like like antique plant matter because they would make art with like plant fiber so it looked like real age plant fiber and i was like what the fuck is this next to all at this a stuff garage sale <laughs> at a garage sale and then i started looking at the stuff and she's like yeah like my my husband was an anthropology professor and he traveled all over the world and all this stuff and like i always really loved these and he let me like have them and like when he died a lot of his stuff got donated to these museums but like i always hung on to these because i loved them but Yada, 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 story. I ended up putting them in a storage unit and they're getting fucked up and I feel bad. So like, I want someone else to appreciate them. And I'm like, dude, this literally like belongs, like actually belongs in a museum. And so I'm trying to like figure out a way to like get it to, to the folks, you know, over there. And whenever there's instances like that, where I do know that the communities of like, are trying to like retain this, because it was like, uh, like a, it was a certain pattern. And I know that there are people that study these patterns for their culture. Cause we have that in Armenian culture. Like we have rug pattern coding and we just lost um, Artsakh, which is now goes by like uh, Nagorno-Karabakh, but it's like indigenous Armenian land that we lost that my grandma is literally from there, like was born there. And it was like colonized and pretty much like ethnically cleansed by Azerbaijan just this last two years. That's a lot of the protest stuff, if you saw that I was talking about, was about that land that literally my grandmother is from. Hmm. Um, yeah, so they study, I'm just rambling, but they study like rug patterns and like decipher what certain things meant. And like different rugs have like stories of families or tragedy or like it's like there's like a whole gang you of can people that. that when it when it like was created for sure well. where it was from yeah. when it was created why it was created like the, you know there's like real deep studies in this um like indigenous preservation of like art and like even rug making so i'm like super deep in that world and and if it's stuff that like i know gets rehomed somewhere important I, I i work on that or i house it and keep it safe with me until i either in the meantime teach people about stuff or i find a place to like take it safely because it's fucked up because a lot of people also think like private collectors are not good because they think of like mm -hmm. museums and museums are fucked up because they stole a lot of that stuff 
Yeah, Whereas why are private collectors better? They're not. Actually, museums are the worst perpetrator, right? And somehow they have like academia, really just money. Whereas mm -hmm. private collectors like find this stuff. And sure, they trade it amongst themselves, but it is amongst enthusiasts and people that keep the stuff mm -hmm. safe um, and often find these things in the wild and keep them safe. So it's like the things that I don't have a place for, I do keep them, I house them and I teach people of the culture of the places until there is like a safe place that I can send it. Because a lot of these tribes or, or, or indigenous people either don't exist anymore or have like small traces of existence or are fully colonized by a government that doesn't want their history preserved anyway. So if you sent it back to where it's from, it would get fucking destroyed. Right. No, no, they would actually get destroyed or like I don't, whatever the fuck they do with this stuff. Like, you know, so like, for example, if you sent some shit to, what is now technically Azerbaijan, but was Artsakh, Armenian, Armenian in its nature, it would be rebranded and they'd say, this is an Azerbaijani rug. Mm -hmm. And like, it just gets changed. Like it's, it's meaning and, history. And, and true history get exactly. And they do change history through artifact manipulation. And it's a very niche micro thing that like, most of society is not fucking paying attention to, but it is important to me and people like me who come from a culture that has been engulfed, taken, genocided, ethnically cleansed to like preserve our, our, our history and identity because then our identity gets changed and, and, and certain new cultures or new countries or new people start to claim things as their own when it was not theirs to begin with. Right. And then those people don't get the credit, don't get the acknowledgement. And slowly that's how people lose like fucking like you know like that's why anthropology and archaeology and, and those things are so important because we we find people that existed that we have no fucking clue about and we don't know what they contributed to like human development and human civilization and society so i'm just deep in this shit you know what i mean that's why i don't do this is fascinating like, oh, what, honestly what do you think about big brother 26 i'm like yo i'm fucking digging and looking for shit like i i don't know man like i don't know <laughs> i'm, I'm trying to fix you. this 2000 year old spine i don't know <laughs> i'm i'm on some other shit right now like <laughs> i'm not gonna ask you about the current season don't worry but i am curious you're such like an interesting wait the person. currency no current season uh, I, i'm not gonna ask you about that oh oh i literally have no fucking idea like if don't i worry. i zero like 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 i if you showed me pictures of people i'd be like i of the last three seasons i'd be like four or five i don't know except for the ones that i met and i'm like oh cool who are you you know and they're like yeah. oh i feel like some of them get like upset too they're like dude i was on last season i'm like could have been on 10 seasons ago yeah. would have been the same fucking thing for everybody so it's nice to meet you you know Aww. but like how do you get on big brother like was reality tv I something did. you were interested in or you were recruited i know but like how did this happen um I think I was just like scouted at a bar or something. Like I think they, I used to have like these business cards that had like my band's information on it and like my Instagram. This is like back in fucking when we didn't have scan my fucking QR code. You know, it was like, <laughs> uh, uh -huh. let me give you my card era. Yeah, I remember uh, those. <laughs> yeah, but like I, I just not. But mine was like so unserious. It was just like a way for you to reach me. Like if you fucking I don't know. Like oh, I have a band here. You could check it out on this thing or like. You don't know, in L.A., like, a kid growing up in L.A., like, oh, sorry, I think my friend is here, but I'm just going to keep yapping. A kid growing up in L.A., like, like you learn, like, oh, you never know who you'll meet or connections or blah, blah, blah. So it was, like, and, like, I was always, like, pretty socially awkward and shy. So, like, I wouldn't just, like, go up to people and be like, hey, here's my number, you know? So I, I like, made this as, like, a better, like, not socially awkward way to just, like, tell people, like, or I guess give people the freedom to like contact me if they so choose anyway i don't know i'm fucking going into the ethics of business cards but i, I think it was that because i got a fucking email and it was like this big brother whatever the fuck and then i thought it was a scam because it just looked a little scammy i don't know whose email thread it was it looked a little scammy and then the header i saw the emblem and header and all that shit i was like oh that looks kind of legit though 
and then like the CBS shit. And then I was like, okay, cool. And then I just emailed them back and then fucking did the tryouts. What is it called? The fucking the rounds. Aud- they made me take like auditions. auditions? Yeah, they, I think so. Uh, they yeah, they make you like fucking say stuff in front of cameras, and then they like test you a bunch. And you have to like do a bunch of like psychological whatever evaluations, which honestly I don't know how me and many people on that show pass because it's I've definitely met some motherfuckers over the years and I'm like, there's no way you pass that. There's no way you scored high enough to be even like allowed back into the public. But you know what? Pop off, you know. That's totally fair. There's some people that slipped by that should not. No, there's by. some deranged human beings. But you know what? I'm not one to talk because I am absolutely cooked. So, fucking, you know what? Sometimes I guess deranged individuals are uh, make for good entertainment. So shout out to that. You get cast on this show. Like, are your friends and family being like, "What are you doing?" Or are they like, "Yeah, we're excited to see you." Like, what? How was that? With your friends, um, well, I didn't really tell anybody about it except for like my immediate family, and I think they were like confused. Honestly, I have like immigrant parents, so like I think they were just a little con- like okay, like we're okay. They were just like confused as I was too because I didn't really know what the fuck I was signing up for. But I just graduated college. I mean, university. I guess it's the same thing. I don't know. Higher education, and um, <laughs> and then I uh, yeah, I had co- I was living in London. I came back. And then that happened, and it just kind of—I was kind of like, okay, cool, like fucking why? I'm a very fuck it, why not kind of guy. Um, I like so that. I was, yeah, and like I hadn't like—I st- mean, I I got a fucking degree in philosophy and political science. So what kind of fucking job was I gonna get at a fucking university? None. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then I was like, okay, this is cool. I had a band, so I was like, wait, this could this could be good for my music career. Um, uh fucking what what do they say uh spoiler alert it was not uh but um <laughs> uh, so yeah i was just like yeah fuck it why not and then i did it and then it was weird and crazy and i had my clothing company too so it was cool for that it was honestly great like i got support from a lot of people and it really gave me like the fucking push and courage to like believe in myself and like believe that i could achieve Certain things that I honestly never thought that I could achieve before. So I, I, I do, I am very grateful for the experience and even like the people I met along the way or like everybody that like messaged me nice things and even the people that did it message me not so nice things because like it gave me thicker skin. So like I uh, like it was overall an experience that I do not regret and but I do not think it's for everybody. I think you yeah. got to be. A certain kind of person to to be okay after doing that kind of shit because it's like I don't know, man. It gets it gets fucking weird. It gets lonely. It gets dark. It gets strange. It gets odd. Like it gets weird. And like there, I haven't met any past player who doesn't resonate with me on those things. Some are more vulnerable than others, but like I like no matter what your experience was, no matter how great you were treated, like everybody, it gets it gets a little weird, you know, at times. And then I look at, like, other reality TV shows that are, like, straight up about, like, I don't know, the person. Like, this, like, your personhood is, like, somewhat violated in this show. But, like, I think of those shows that, like, anything on, like, TLC, right? Where they just, they're absolutely, like, unethical television. Like, I watch some shit on TLC and I'm like, how is this, how is the ethics of this real? Like, they are fully. Do you watch 90 Day Fiance? Oh, you bet your fucking bottom dollar I, I do. Listen, show. I don't watch TV. And again, remember how I told you I was like, fuck it, why not? I yeah. was like, fuck it, why not? Uh, run it back. Run the fuck it, why not back one more time? Because I was like, uh, sure. And they were like, oh, we'll pay you a bit this time. And I was like, okay, cool. And I was still young. I was fucking 23. And then I don't know if my butt crack just showed, but whatever. <laughs> I don't think so. Somebody, don't worry. somebody, Somebody Venmo me for the butt crack reveal. Um, uh, did you know yeah, other like, players were gonna go back though, or were you, did you think you were the only one? I had no, they didn't tell me shit. I had no fucking oh, really? idea about anything. I didn't know anything. Yeah, and I was like pissed when I found out I was the only one because like then that attention like honed in on me, and I was like, oh fuck, I'm the only one back. Like that sucks, and I'm like that puts me in a compromising position. And like I was unaware that that was the fucking case. Like they they actually did keep that shit a secret. I will say that like. I hadn't. Mm. I was shook. I was like waiting for someone else to pop out, and I'm like, "Say psych." Like, I don't want to be the only fucking one. Like, that's so freaky. Yeah, obviously, 
like returning players tend to do well, but it is always like a struggle. But um, well, I think they. I don't. I don't know. Like it's 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 reality TV, guys. Like it's definitely yeah. produced, and and they definitely have a say in what happens to things. I I personally like. I personally think because it's like if you think about it, it's like a fucking. It's a TV show, like like TV shows that bring ratings, that like make money, that like commercials, fucking whatever. Like it's a business. They're not just gonna leave the business in the hands of fucking sixteen strangers. Like they're not just gonna rely on you to be entertaining enough to like bring them that ad revenue money. Like bitch, you know they're gonna produce the fuck out of that to give to give people what like they fucking want. So like I don't know. I feel like no, that's fair. You're not wrong. I feel like I it's mean, like especially a, with it, these shows. Yeah, like they make so much money with like ads and sponsors and shit like that. Like they're not just gonna leave that money up to chance by casting sixteen random dickheads. Like you gotta <laughs> come on now. You know what I mean? Like if you, you better bet if you're boring or not entertaining, you are on the fucking top of the list of getting out of that show. Like, but if you're bringing the ratings and shit, like I don't know. Like maybe I'm fucking conspiracy theorying this shit, but like I fully think that that's at least a little bit taken into account you know well yeah people say that when it came to the friendship bracelets they're like obviously cbs wants to keep paul safe for a few weeks right? yeah like that was yeah was yeah like, yeah 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 for sure and it's like but it was also not good because i did have to make enemies right away so it's like True. they i think they look for the fairest way to keep people around um you know what i'm saying like, like without without it like make like being too obvious being too stinky you know what i mean like too fucking obvious because like and everyone's like, oh, yeah, those friendship bracelets really helped him out. And I'm like, no, bro. Like, I made, like, as much as eight people like me, equal amount didn't because I did not fucking choose them after they, like, pleaded their case to me. So, like, no, it actually did not make my shit easier because then I had to, like, look at someone that I looked in the eyes and go, well, fucking sorry, bud. Like, <laughs> and, like, you know, <laughs> that that's not. I don't know, like, but, but like, nobody's going to care what I have to say, you know what I mean? Nobody's going to, like, I, I thought being the odd man out would make my time, would be obvious that that obviously made my shit more difficult, because, like, I'm the odd man out at all fucking times. It's like, whether I did the show before or not, doesn't mean I'm going to perform the same fucking way, and also doesn't mean that, like, the circumstances are the same, like, so, like, it, it didn't, people, like, like, yeah, of course I had an advantage as far as like my anxiousness and like knowing the drill, like knowing like how shit went down. But like, if you were a fucking fan of the show, like you probably get the gist of that shit anyway. And like, I was not a fan of the show. So my first time I had no fucking idea what was going on. So I feel like it like cancels out. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, well, also know. for as many friendship bracelets you got, there are plenty of other Pandora's box twists, nonsense that happens every other season. Yeah. So, yeah, dude, it fine. was just, and it's like, and then, and then people were like, oh, fuck Paul, he got this, then the third, and I'm like, sorry, I'm not an executive producer. Like, I didn't decide to be the only returning house guest. I didn't decide the friendship base. Like, none of this was my fucking doing, y'all. And it's like, you're getting mad at the wrong person. Like, hate the fucking game, not the player. I'm just doing this bullshit. Like, I didn't fucking make that happen. I didn't ruin your precious show. Like, I was just subject to these things, you know? And yeah, I don't know. I just found, just found it funny. Yeah, that just made your run even more impressive, Paul, though, because and I'm not trying to hype you up, but at the same time, this is, yeah, like you, the first game you sort of picked up as you went along. Also, did you for BB18 when you I were had, playing? Like, I had no were, fucking idea. No, you were, I had no. I thought you were bro, pivoting I thought, all the time. You were I, doing a hundred. 100, I had no fucking clue what was going on. And I thought, I'm like, wow, this game is fucking easy. I just like, I just uh, befriended, like, the alpha males and, like, the typical, like, high school yes. bully tropes, like, the popular kids. I was like, cool, like, I'm in. I, somehow I'm in. And I'm like, fuck it. We're, we ball, bro. And then I'm like, wait, this guy's buff as fuck. This dude's buff as fuck. I'm savvy. I'm like, we'll all just win and keep each other safe. And I'm like, oh, I'm cool until half of this game. And then literally every week, one of them was just going, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, okay. If so facto, it seems like I am fucking next, and clearly I'm not in the fucking no. Like, I was like, wait a minute. Based on these calculations, I think I am next in line. And I was like, okay, I gotta figure out what's going on. And then I, like, I don't know, caught wind of some shit, and I stirred up some drama elsewhere, or, like, did, I don't know, I just got 
in the mix. And then 19 too, like you also, you also won a ton of shit. Did you? I Yo, I won a ton of shit, bro. You did. Fuck all of y'all. Like, and that shit is not like, okay, some of those, like the competitions that like you do individually, I think for sure are fucking rigged. For sure. Mm. Like that's their way of being able, like no one can fucking tell. Like this like one we really, I feel ones? like hundred fucking fifty percent because there were times where like people won and I was like, ain't no fucking way you beat me in that. Like there's no way that that was that many seconds. Like I'm being gaslit, but there's no way that I, I can keep track. Right. Cause we don't have timers on us right. and we don't get to know our time. We don't get to yeah. know our time, you know? Like the, yeah. Yeah. I definitely think time competitions can be a little sketch on a lot of reality. <laughs> so sketch, so sketch. And they would like conveniently happen on like weeks that like, there I was like, to be literally, yeah, yeah. I was like, fuck you, you know? Um, but like, yeah. whatever, bro, it's a TV show. You like it? It's uh, fucking, it's like anything TV Hollywood is fucking produced. So either you want to live in your Lala fantasy land or just shut the fuck up and eat your cake. You know what I mean? Like, eat the cake. You like the cake? Eat the fucking cake. Stop trying to dissect the cake. Find out what's in there. Get mad about it. You like the cake? Eat the fucking cake. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's another thing I got confused about. Like, these fans that were, like, obsessed with the show would also, like, open the mouth and just take a direct shit into it. And I'm like, dude, who is telling you to walk? Like, d- turn, it off. turn it off. Turn off the TV. Get off your phone. And shut the fuck up if you hate it so much. Like, but you obviously don't hate it because you're over here all up in this shit with all your opinions. So, like, it, I would be so confused. I'm like, if you're so upset. Turn it off. Stop. Stop engaging. Like I don't I get know. it. Like it's like a hate watch situation. But like, hundred percent. Change. You're not gonna change the game by complaining. Really, often not. Sadly, but yeah, it was so funny. Like they would find like I don't know. They would like go- like see the executive producers and then like Google pictures of them and like start bullying them. I'm like, yo, I promise you, these people do not give a fat fuck. Like they they're not making, even looking at. Twitter. They are making. They don't even care. Like as long as the ratings and the numbers and the whatevers are there, they do not give a shit. Like it's just so funny. I don't know. No, you're right. You're not wrong. Well, okay. So burning question. Everyone wants to know who from your seasons do you still talk to, if anyone. Damn. Anyone you've caught up with? I know you saw Josh at the party briefly. I mean, right? I've been, I don't know. I've, oh, from my seasons. Yeah. Uh, dude, I've been hanging out with Natalie a lot in New York from uh, season 18. I love Natalie, dude. Me and her are literally like besties. She's great. Uh, she's fucking awesome. Uh, yeah, I, I kick her with Natalie a lot in New York. We're, we have a really funny, cool, cute friendship. Um, she like came and saw me in Armenia. A year ago wow. like it's it's yeah like it's super it's super sweet love natalie she's a she's a really good um person and then i see josh i see i haven't seen victor and nicole in a while but i still keep in touch with them um nicole i don't know she's off being a mom but like i get a chance to talk to victor every now and again and he like i don't know he fills me in on this like interesting police stories for the week and and all this cool shit that he's doing and then, um, I mean, every now and again, so you know, like Kevin will reach out and say hello, or I'll talk to Josea, or like I'll I'll see what like I'll hit a Bronte like once a year. I, I like I, I every time I like see something that like maybe reminds me of someone, or like something happens, I'll like hit him up. Like Elena, we talk every now and again. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm cool with like mo- like I don't have bad whatever with anybody because yeah. like that would be fucking What's silly the point? But, yeah but there's definitely like some people that like we just don't talk because like i don't think we have maybe much in common and it's like not for any like malicious reason other than like what the fuck do we have in common yeah or like you know what i mean or like what why would we keep in touch like <laughs> that's how i feel I about know. people in maybe high school and college like I don't yeah same shit everybody. dude yeah i don't give a fuck like whatever like okay we did this thing together doesn't mean i need to be like blood bonded to you like fucking do your thing bro we probably would not have kicked it if it wasn't for the circumstances anyway so like you know yeah no for sure does uh, is it fair to say that i think i know the answer to this have you ever watched your seasons no right no no i have seen some clips like as of late i've been seeing some clips um or like people send me clips and i'm like oh i remember this like i like have a laugh because i'm like wow i need to watch this like 
I remember this. And then I watch it and I'm like, yo, this show is like low key fucking funny. I'm like, bro, that's <laughs> mad funny. I didn't know. I didn't know they put like sound effects into shit. And I fucking lost my mind the first time I like heard sound effects. I was like, bro, they were putting slippery, like, like, whoop, 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 like fucking cartoon ass sounds. Like that's fucking hilarious. Or like when people are heated and they just put like stupid ass sounds. I, I lose it. I'm like, damn. Okay. I get why people, um, I get why people wow. like this show. It's fucking, it's fucking funny. And then I'm like, okay, like, I understand why people, like, like the drama. Like, I would not watch Big Brother. The only, the best parts are the drama. Like, this, the shit that I remember, like, I got so much hate for, or, like, things that I got so much hate for, like, watching clips that entailed that. I'm like, bitch, that's fucking hilarious. Like, that was the highlight of the episode. You would not watch this shit if there was no drama. Kumbaya, Big Brother. Who the fuck wants to watch any reality TV that's, like, kumbaya nope yeah there is none like everything is like dramatized because the, and that's why you watch it so like i don't know the people that just go on there and they're like mm, like i'm um, just i I'm just want to be a good person it's like fuck off then like go to like a fucking non-profit organization and like live stream from it like don't go on reality tv like with the trope of like being a degenerate human like that's that's that shit bro like if i watch reality tv i want to see some shit and be like damn i feel so much better about myself as a person that people like this exist you know what i mean and like i feel like i was that for some people and that's nice you know they were like at least like i'm fucked but like that dude he got he got like a couple of screws too loose you know and i'm like okay like valid but like don't like get mad at me for it like fucking don't watch you know oh i don't know God. no you're right and i love when the show just like leans into the silliness because like we this is a silly show at the end of the day right like it's not it's fucking silly <laughs> bro i saw people like crying sometimes i'll see clips on twitter and like people are like crying I like the first eviction and I'm like, dude, get the fuck out of here. Like, that's so, that's so fucking corny. Like, why are you crying, bro? Oh I, I, I had that thing too. Like, they'd be like, oh, are you sad if this person's going to leave? I'm like, no, I don't fucking know this person. I've been in here with them for like two weeks. But I don't give a fuck. Like, whatever. They're, they're not get, They're not getting taken out back and shot in the fucking head. They're going home. Like, why? Well, I'm going I'm to feel bad. Like, are you guys going to electrocute them? Like, what the fuck? Why would I feel bad? Who cares? Like, get it's over it. It's not that serious. Yeah. I will say, though, oh. like, during, you didn't see this, but the jury roundtables, people were really hurt, intense, like, whatever. I'm just invalidating um, everybody's experience. I'm just gaslighting everybody. Like, no, but you know when you're in it, you're, <laughs> when you're in it, your feelings are obviously stronger. So, like, when people are thinking Yeah, about because we're fucking cooked, dude. We're fucking absolutely deep fried cooked in that motherfucker. Everything, like, we're, like, we're, like, sensory overload and sensory, like, deprived and, like, just abused lab rats. Like, yeah, like. But, like, it's so not serious. Do you believe in, like, the idea of, like, bitter juries? Or do you think the right person always wins, basically? I mean, I don't, I don't fuck it. I don't think it, I don't know, I don't know what that even means. Like, like, I, I guess the right, like, I think people are, get bitter or, like, they get butthurt. And I just think that's funny because it's, like, but, like, that's part of the game. Like, right? Like, that's part of the game. Like, if they got bitter and butthurt, like, that's part of it. Like, you made them bitter and butthurt. But I just don't think that people should be bitter and butthurt doesn't mean that people aren't bitter and butthurt you know what i'm saying like i don't think you should be i think that's yeah, yeah, dumb yeah. and it's like get, fucking get over it you're a fucking sort of loser type shit but like some people are fucking sore losers and i guess you should be aware of it um and like i guess that's my bad because like i was really i was like the youngest one on my season so i'm like surely i'm like if someone gets me out like i'm like fuck they got me you know, but like, I guess like, I get, I don't know, like maybe like somebody is in that position and I truly genuinely do hate them, which would be silly, but like, I, I, I don't know. And then you'd be like, all right, just to like, fuck, fuck this person. Like, I just don't want you to win. But like, I can't imagine harboring such sentiments because it seems corny because it's like, but they, but they beat you. So like, I, if you have that, if you have that energy and you're like still there, valid. Cause you're still part of it. You're like, fuck this person. I don't want them to win. I want to win. Like, I don't like you. I want to beat you. But like, if you already got beat, you don't get to keep talking shit like that. Like, I don't know. Like you, you're out. You're out. It's like, it's like if you're doing like laser tag or like paintball and you're still like, Oh, but I don't want them to win. It's like, okay, you're kind of a bitch. I don't know. Like, like whatever. It's like, a game. why are you, why are you mad? It's a game. Like at the end of the day, it is a game, but it's like, but it's still valid. Like, I guess like they, their feelings are valid. I, it to be like exist right so it's like 
uh, one should know that that could happen. I guess because of my like not knowing this show, I didn't know. Like I didn't think people would be so tight about shit. Like, and then the second time, I didn't fucking watch the first time. And like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I was hearing mixed shit as to why Nicole won. Someone was like, "Oh, I wanted a girl to win," and I'm like, "Well, I couldn't fucking do anything about that because I'm not a girl." So like, uh, like. And, and I lost by one vote. So I'm like, oh, I'm supposed to like feel, I was like, all right, whatever. Like, whatever. What, I wasn't even mad. I was like, whatever. I lost. Like, that's, mm. you win and you lose. You lose. I lost. Like, fuck, what am I going to do? Feel bad? It's, it's done. So the second time, I don't know, like, this is fucking, it, what, what I lost. What am I going to do? I didn't win. I, and I didn't go. And I'm like, yeah, I should have won. I didn't say anything like that. Like, I didn't get off, get off and do that. But I'm like, yeah, people are literally saying, they voted to see me like lose. So I'm like, yeah. So people were butthurt. Like if so facto people were butthurt and I'm like, okay, like, sorry, you're butthurt. We're outside now. No hard feelings. Like I we, I thought we were just fucking, I thought we were all like consenting to this w weird ass make-believe scenario. You know what I mean? Like I don't mean to hurt your fucking feelings or like if I knew that this shit would like impact you for real in your life, like I thought, but I thought, we're in like a Everybody, fantasy world. Yeah, yeah, which <laughs> we were. Are. Yeah, and like, I don't know, like I didn't like have any ill will to, for people like for real. Like, yeah, I was like, but literally fuck you, but like not actually fuck you. Like, mm. cause like, I'm sure you're great as a concept outside, but like here in this scenario where like, I want to win all this money and I'm thinking about my family and my future and this and that and fuck, I ain't thinking about you. Like, so, you know, and they're like, oh, like sometimes they're like, oh, this is just how they are in the real world. And it's like, no, like you're not subject to such fuckery in the real world. And if you, uh, you, you know what I mean? Like, it's not, it's, 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 it is it's a made normal. up, sin it's not normal. And then, I, yeah. and then like sometimes people, I'd see like clips of me and people would be like, oh my God, he's such a liar. And I'm like, yeah, because I was lying <laughs> right there. Like, like I, I was lying. Like, that's what I was doing. Because I had to, because I can't tell them the secret I know about the other person that confided in me. So I had to lie. Like, yeah, I, I'm lying, but I'm not a fucking liar. Like, in like 23 year old me, I was like, I'm with you. <laughs> that fucking bullshit. Like, don't what? Okay. Don't be like, hey, we're going to put you in this thing where lying is totally cool. And I'm like, okay, sick. I lie. And they're like, bro, I can't believe you lied. And I'm like, wait. Fuck you. I didn't know I was supposed to be a cool, a nice guy. Like, I thought, like, it was, like, fucking win this weird social game. There's no rules other than, like, obvious shit, you know? So, I don't know. It was, like... But, like, after the show, like, when I talked to people, like, nobody's feelings were actually hurt. Except for, like, one person who shall not be named. Who I definitely know um, it is, but yes. <laughs> Yeah, let's just say like fucking ah, like 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 just test the I don't know what the fuck is crazy eyes shit type shit like I don't know, uh, which was odd because they were like way older than me too and I was like oh, like are you good like <laughs> like are you okay like what the fuck why are you and, and it's like they always postured as like tough and like have gone through the brutes of life and then like but i hurt your feelings like mm. some fucking kid from the valley eight years younger than you like that's that's what did it for you i don't know i don't know but nobody like everybody for you i was like hey like i'm seeing all this shit on the internet like did you think that or did you feel that like I'm, and they're like no and i'm like oh okay like but like my bad like i didn't i didn't mean yeah. for it to be like that you know and they're like no no like i don't even think that and i'm like Oh, okay, cool. Cause like it wasn't that. And they're like, yeah, I know. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. And I go on the internet and they're like, fuck you, dude. And I'm like, bro, fuck y'all. Cause like the person that again, like I didn't ask you to 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 react for me. It's like, bro, the person y'all are like defending does not think that. So like Yeah. I, I don't I don't know. I don't know. I it's like if or like, two like, people like made up outside the gate, like that's none of our business. We shouldn't be like speaking on behalf of you or anyone right like like i can't believe you called this person this and i like went to that person I'm like yo like are you upset about that and they're like no i thought it was funny i was like yeah i thought you would think it was funny like i didn't think you you know like like i was, t I was talking to you not like everybody in the club but like i guess like 22 year old me was unaware of the implications of that which mm -hmm. probably why i was cast because they're like oh this dude is gonna fucking not be aware of like 
the fact that everybody's watching kind of like right now I, fucking whatever dude like i'm gonna say whatever like d- uh, also another odd thing is like like that I, when i reflect yeah like when i reflect back on my time doing that stuff and it's like i think i'm a pretty like morally sound person but i am human and of course flawed and it's like i didn't know that i was like signing up to be like astute fucking citizen of society and like performing like what impossible standards am i just automatically held to now that i was on reality tv wasn't wasn't like the ceo of like a fucking hum- the red cross like i was on a reality tv show y'all are putting me on standards or putting people on standards that like girl y'all are bugging the fuck out if you think that like just because you were on in the public eye you're an astute citizen Look at our country. Look at the people in the public eye. They are not good people. Like, so it's like, why, why, what standards are you putting on fucking people that like are just impossible standards? They are real individuals. And that's what I've, I learned about like how weird it is, like the television and like stardom and shit like that. Like how much it like short circuits people's brains and how like non-human everything becomes. Even when people would come up to me, I'm like, dude, I am literally a real person. So like, I, I, there's like this one interview i think it's like eric andre and there he's like he's like bro y'all are, like say like the meanest shit to me he's like he's like by he's like i see he's like they're like fuck like kill yourself you fucking loser whatever and like say so he said like all this heinous shit and he's like yo i read this he's like i'm reading this he's like i he's like yo that's fucking like the way he reacted to it was so funny he's like do you know i am a person like right I don't know. And sometimes Give I feel like people like just to people. Jesus. Yeah. Like, look, I love to hate watch shit. Like I'm all like, again, 90 day fiance. I fucking, I'm like, Oh my God. But I don't go the extra mile. I'm like, you know what? Let me tell this person to eat shit. Like, or like, let me find out where they work and like metal. Like that's, Oh, that's, that's fucked. A, a deranged no. me. That is, yeah, that yeah, is, yeah, yeah. That is cuckoo bananas type shit. Like, that is, like, you really need, like, to get a grip on fucking reality for, like, a second there, buddy. Like, I don't know. Yep, yep. And that kind of shit, like, that world of, like, cuckoo banana shit, like, just kind of, like, made me, like, it freaked me out. I'm like, bro, I didn't sign up to be, like, and it was crazy because, like, I would get shit on for all this stuff and then I would do something nice that I genuinely, like, just wanted to do or, like, like, the friendship bracelets. I don't know. There was, like, some sort of, like, humanitarian a disaster going on at the time and i'm like you know what the whole concept of the friendship bracelets people are still buying these fucking things like let me let me do something nice and like the concept of friendship let me just like allocate that money and donate and give incentives since people are still buying this stuff like incentivize the purchase for like and just give that money to charity right mm-hmm. and no fucking i even pay like i paid for the shit to be made did not even get the money i did not even recoup the money pay is part of my also donation you know what i mean it was just fully 100 percent fucking and just a nice thing to do and like the the message people shit on me they were like oh this or that like they they, they were like oh but like i don't know Something. it was either like not enough or like or or like some other shit he's using he's using a natural disaster to like promote his slogan i was like bro friendship is not my fucking slogan it was just some shit that i was saying and just put on a bracelet because they, you know, and I'm like, God, you can't, you can't fucking win. So I was like, dude, fuck all y'all. Also, like, <laughs> I don't know. It was just, I'm like, I, I'm not going to, I'm just going to do whatever it is that I want and express myself the way that I want. And like, a t- who, what stand, are y'all my, I don't know. Like I was held to standards yeah. my whole life by my Im- immigrant parents. I don't need strangers. And sometimes I'd like go on their page and I'm like, who is this person telling me to like, fucking chop my head off you know what i mean and i go look at their profile and i'm like shut up like <laughs> like what the fuck like what you would never say this shit to me like get the fuck out of here <laughs> i don't know wait so the one criticism people do have of your game i think or they talk about is not using your goodbye messages to sort of pander to the jury in bb19 and josh did that i didn't know how to do that i thought i was just saying bye to people yeah. like i didn't know that like they I didn't know. I didn't fucking know, understand that as a concept. Like, I didn't get, I didn't get that. Hmm. I didn't get that. I didn't, I'm not, people forget, I do not fucking know this sh- I didn't know that, like, that, like, Julie asks, how do you feel about that fucking goodbye message? I didn't fucking know. I thought they just watch it in a hotel room and they're like, oh, okay, cool. Like, I didn't know that. 
you know, and sometimes I didn't like people. I was like, yo, fuck you, dude. Like, yo, eat my ass, you know? Like, I, I, <laughs> I thought it was, like, private. I didn't know. I was like, hmm, so how do you feel about that? I didn't know. I didn't know. No, and, Paul, you, and, were also, you were also very nice, and you were like, you know, it wasn't me. So people criticize you for not owning and saying, no, it was me. I'm the mastermind that got you out. So that I didn't know I had to do me. that. Like, I, yeah. I, didn't, I just didn't know that, like, I, I thought that would add insult to injury, to be honest. So I'm like, I, mm, I don't want to, like, wax him right up. I don't want, yeah, but like, especially like for someone that was my friend, let's say, like, I don't know, someone that was my friend, but I had to get out. Yeah. Or someone that I actually did a admire or adore. Like, I don't want to add insult to injury right after and be like, ha ha, it was me. Like, like well, that doesn't feel good. And I'm like, oh, they'll find out eventually and be like, oh, smart. Tricky. Or like, oh, tricky. Like, but not like, fuck you. I didn't know that that would be like the, like, like, if anything, I'd be like, huh, like, I got got, like, damn, you know, like, they were good at that. Like, I, I wouldn't take it as like, oh, how could you? Because like, right. I'm expecting all of us to be fucking all of us over so that one of us can win. Like, that is the concept. So like, I'm not, I, I wouldn't hold it against you if you fucked me over in a game where we have to fuck each other over. Yeah. I think, like, a one person wins, right? Yeah. Do you, do you, I'm assuming this, like, I don't know, yeah, like, I, think, I know the answer to these questions, but like, I need to, you don't play that what if game, do you? You're never like, oh, if I took James to the final two, like, do you ever go through that in your head or you're like, no, happened, no, no, I don't. And I also don't think I would have won in either way. I did. I made the best. If I fucking made the decisions that got me to the end, I'd like to think I would make the decision that would make me win if I was capable of winning. So I don't think oh, I was capable of point. like, that's yeah. I, to me, in that moment, with all the info that I had fucking whatever the fuck, like, that was my best, yeah. like, move. And, like, it didn't work. Yeah. So, like, obviously, I wasn't meant to win because of fucking whatever. What if, uh, there's no what ifs. I didn't do it. <laughs> That's yeah, not what I did. And I wouldn't have – there wasn't, like, I wasn't on the fence about any decision I was making. Like, the decision I was like, oh, no, that is for sure. I'm fucking solid here. I thought sure. people didn't respect James. Or I thought people liked James, liked him because he was, like, a silly guy, right? I thought, yeah. like, people hated – I thought people had more reasons not to like Nicole than they did to like not like James. Like James was just a likable fucking silly dude. So it was like, even though he didn't do shit, really. Um, <clears throat> no offense, James, if you're like watching this, I don't mean it He's like not that. Watching. Like, you know, like in, in, in my in my fucking like whatever. Like I was uh, whatever. Fuck you, James. I'm just kidding. Uh, but like in my head, I thought like, oh, like he didn't like rock the boat enough for people to like hate him. So like, and I definitely like rocked boats. So, like, people – and, like, Natalie was there and, like, the, the, Devon was, like, on a season. So, I was like, shit, that's already two right there. Like, I'm cooked with mm -hmm. this fucking dude because there's, like – and then, like, Natalie and Michelle, I'm like, I'm, that's, that's cooked. Like, that's three people that I think are definitely favoring him more than me. Like, you know? And two of them I could guarantee, right? Mm -hmm. Where with Nicole, it was just one guarantee, which was Corey and maybe True. Polly. Right? So. Yeah. For me, I was like, okay, but she definitely, she, and I was like, wait, she doesn't, like, Michelle and her have beef, so that's automatic. I can count on that. And then Michelle and Natalie, I can count on that there, but I can't count on that there. Whatever. Yeah. It, it, so, yeah, I genuinely thought that. And in the second season, I mean, the same thing. I, I, well, me and Josh kind of made, like, a bro pact, I guess. Like, mm -hmm. uh, But I thought I had more chances of winning up against Josh. Especially since Christmas would, could have like the oh I broke my leg and I'm over here fuck you yeah. like, like persevered and straw like you know like that's true cool I beat these two dudes well I I, I would have voted for that call. I would have I would have voted for that I would have voted for that over me in my like I ran that scenario I was like oh fuck me you know like that's that seems more impressive and then uh, I mean not to poo poo Josh but like but I don't know I just thought like Josh was a better option in that scenario uh, no, to go to the end with. Um, and I thought that he had rocked the boat more than me. I thought he had pissed people off more than me. Like, he definitely had, like, enemies in the jury. Definitely did. But, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, people voted for him where I, where I was like, damn, like, I can't believe, like, you swallowed that just to, like, spite me. I'm like, damn, you must really not like me, motherfucker. Like, that's I was, hilarious. That's I don't know. I just... want to know. Are they more anti-Josh or anti-Paul than pro-Josh? I, I think I think that was the energy. 
That's... I think that was the energy. But I don't know. I didn't like watch. That's just like the, what I what I was like hearing from people, right? Right. Well, like well, I saw some clips. Um, I don't know. Fair. Again, I I don't really like. I genuinely like. Like, of course, like, like, yeah, it would have been sick if I won half a million dollars. But I don't sit here and like ruminate on things that I can't control and change because, like, I would that would drive me crazy. Why would I do that? Especially yeah, things that are not in my control. Really. Like, like, like I'm not. Vo it's not like I lost something that I had control of. Like in the end, you don't have control. Like, like it's other people, and you can't control what other people do. But wait, so Paul, I have to ask you because, like, I remember watching BB19. You know, you had played 200 days. Let's call it. You're sitting next to Josh. Same chair as the year before. Same vote. You know, the votes are being read, and I remember same outfit. Funny same as fuck. So funny. And like they're reading the votes, and like you're just like. Not again, not again, not again. Like, can you just tell me, like, what was going through your mind? Were you... I don't know. I was know... being dramatic. I was just being like... <laughs> I don't know. I was, was... I was hamming it up. I Dude, I'm, a, I'm a fucking entertainer, bro. I'm a performer, bro. We be performing. Like, what? Like, I'm on TV, bitch. I'm gonna make this shit, like... I'm gonna fucking get in there. Let's make this shit, like... Let's bring that energy. I don't know. Uh, my biggest thing was, like, everybody... Kind of, not everybody. There were some motherfuckers that were so entertaining on the show. Um... But, like, I really looked at it like I was on a TV show and, like, I was, like, really in make-believe land. And I'm like, okay, what can I do that's fucking entertaining? What can I do that's funny? What can I do that, like, would be funny to watch? And I would just do shit like that. I would, like, fuck with people. And, like, I, I thought it was funny. I thought it would made entertaining TV. And, like, it did because people told me it did. But I guess it, like, hurt people's feelings in the process. But, like, I don't know. Yes. Like, like I didn't, I didn't do – I don't know, man. I think uh, – I just, I don't know. I was just, I, it was fun. I was just having fucking, I was just being silly, bro. I was just being a silly girly. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know what else to say. So like, yeah, the not again, not again. I was just like, I was like, fuck, not again. Like, I hope I don't lose. I thought I was going to win. I was like building up anticipation for either way. If I lost, it would be dramatic. I, could, I should have fell on my knees and started fucking crying. Whenever I'm next to other legends, I'm like, yo, I eat these dorks up, bro. Get the fuck, don't come in this fucking game. I'm like, dude, what? Like, and then people are like, oh, this is the best ever deal. I'm like, bro, I mop this dude up any day of the week. Bring that shit over here. Uh, well, speaking of Paul, why were like, you not? In, I mean, we know why you weren't on BB22, but we'd like to see you on a Legends season of some sort. No? Are you against it? I would only do it if it was like with like, act, like people that like are like actually like like, like, I don't know, like, 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 like the big name dudes, the dudes that yeah. like everybody fucking like, uh, what, like fucking just Dan, slobs Dr. on. Will, you know? Yeah, yeah, Rose. yeah. Those fucking, those, the fucking big, big, big fucking honcho motherfuckers. I would do it with them dudes and like chicks that are like, I don't know. I, there's like a couple chicks I mean, names that i always hear on there and i'm like who the fuck even are these people but like cool i want the the the, the common the household names the best i would do it with some shit like that and then i don't know people would be like well what makes you think you're in that category because you didn't fucking win but like fuck fuck y'all i'm definitely in that fucking category in the sense that like look at my stats look at the yep. fucking stats bro like look <laughs> i love saying that look at the stats <laughs> yo you could talk all this shit compare me with your fave stats Fuck you. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. just, just very dead. <laughs> but like, I don't even care. Like, it's so silly. It's so silly because I don't even care like that. It's just like, I, I don't know. It's, I just like to like sometimes get, I'm like, yo, check the stats, yo. Uh, but no, I'd be down to do that because it would be like entertaining. A, B, I think maybe challenging. But again, it's a TV show. So like the rules are ambiguous. But for the sake of television, I think it would be not even television because like a majority of people would not give a fuck but the fans of the show that have kept it. the lights on i think would really like some shit they would they would eat that shit up and like okay make it because like nobody's committing for more than a month i wouldn't i wouldn't i wouldn't like i was gonna I don't ask three, three months, months fucking too much absolutely never again prison sentence i'm good bro i'm good on that one month three weeks sure toss me in that bitch Let's fucking run this shit. It would be fun. But I don't know. Also, like, things would have to be different. Like, I don't know if I'm willing to crack open, like, that, that like, magnifying glass on my life again. Like, the privacy, my privacy was super invaded. I felt really, like, I don't know. Like, I didn't like all that attention. 
granted i think this would be like a like a a, a fucking winter season bullshit little fucking yeah. not as spotlighty thing so like maybe it would be manageable but um yeah like it's not like being low key and not having people fucking all up in my shit 24 7 is way worth not yeah and they would have to like pay me a substantial money like amount yep. of money or else I, That's fair. I don't care i do, look at me i do not care so like <laughs> it would be cool but like y'all gotta fucking pay me what I i'm agree. worth in my timeline of shit you know and also like yeah i don't know. like see it's already too many stipulations so chances of me doing it probably slim but never know. maybe i don't know yeah. You never know. So have you asked, been asked to do other shows over the years that you said no to? Um, or- I have been asked. I've been prompted. Or I've, like there was like some other shit. Like it was like the greatest reality TV person of all time. I think it's like on Amazon or shit now. They like hit me up recently. And then there was some shit like from MTV back in the day. But it was like more like dating oriented. And I'm like, bro, oh, God. you got me <laughs> fucked up. I would never do some shit like that. I'm like, I'm literally not the one i can't that, picture but... you on a dating show paul i don't know why it would like be so bad scene. i go to <laughs> dude can you imagine like can you actually imagine uh it would probably be fucking entertaining to It'd be, be honest fine. But, like, it's just very manufactured like here talk about your love in front of you. <laughs> so fucking no i can't i can't i would cringe myself to death i would just like inter fucking implode <laughs> upon myself um i can't be they... i don't think i could be vulnerable like that on tv the people that can do that fucking i don't know are like superhuman beings i cannot i cannot do shit like that like no way no way you that like you got to put a gun to my head to get that kind of shit out of me i agree you know what i'm saying yeah like what about traitors have you seen i'm sure you didn't watch it but it's a pretty fun show look yo yo them okay that's like based off of the game mafia right Mm mm-hmm and like I played that traders. shit. I suggested we play that shit. I suggested we play that shit in the Big Brother house. And I swear to God, some executive saw all of us doing that and was like, that's a good idea. So fuck you. I know, bitch. I know. I know I put that in y'all's head because y'all casted half Big Brother people. And I was the first person to do that on Big Brother to like suggest that we play Mafia. And it was hilarious because I got to see how people lie and shit. Well, I was yeah. being a little manipulative fucker. I was like, yo, let me see who fucking who's good at lying, who's not good at lying, who's who's blah, 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 blah. I'd be the mediator. I was the, I was the one mediating. I can't believe they didn't fucking pick up on that. And then I think like when we got into a fight or something, I, I don't know. I don't know what happened. But I was like, OK, maybe we shouldn't play Mafia anymore. Uh, but I already knew what I needed to know. And and then like two years later, boom, it's a TV show. I'm like, hey, and half of the Big Brother people were on that. I was like, yo, literally, fuck you guys. Like, yeah. So yeah, I I, I mean, I guess I, I I don't know how that show works, but like, it's similar, but and they pay better. <laughs> oh. no, well, nobody's hit me up, so well, I, maybe okay. I'm just like blacklist. But I mean, I think I maybe I'm just barred from being on TV. No, I might be blacklisted for some reason. Well, bitch, I ain't been on. <laughs> I was like, well, man, I'm just playing. I don't know. I think, well, I think, like in the political, I think in the political correct era, they were like a mm, little bit of a fucking. This dude is a little wild cardy, maybe not. But then again, I saw that they cast people that were just like dropping slurs week one, and I was like, oh, that's how. Like, how do you even do that? Like, how are how do you even manage to fuck up that bad? You know what I mean? And I'm like, God, I guess they still got him. You know. What are you going to do? Um, <laughs> I'm like, Jesus Christ. And yeah, but I, I think we're like, I don't know. I, I see content now that I'm like, what? Hello? I'm just so not in the loop. I don't know what anything is anymore, dude. So but I kind of like that. Traders You're sounds doing fun. your own thing. Uh, yeah, traders would be fun. I, they might call you for reindeer games at some point, right? You know what that is? I don't know what that means. What is that? It's a CBS. It's a spinoff of Big Brother. And you just compete for like a week. Dude, I think CBS doesn't like me anymore. I protested in front of CBS during that genocide I was talking about, the earlier this thing. Uh, They, CBS, they were giving narrative to like the, the, the oppressor's side. And I was like, nah, y'all got me fucked up. So like the Armenian community, like, like was there and protesting and there was news channels and we were like, yo, you actually like, like somebody that has like spilled Armenian blood like like war criminal you gave them the fucking limelight 
to speak on this conflict like you are super uneducated and like you you just got paid money you accepted money from Azerbaijan because they had like a whole PR propaganda campaign. They were paying all these PR companies to whitewash their genocide. And I was like, so you're one of them. And like, fuck you. Like, I ain't going. It was kind of like in defiance of like, okay, I once, you know, I don't know. I don't know. It like really, it like actually pissed me off. It was like not cool. Like I had family there that was subject to like ethnic cleansing. My grandma was from there. It, it was just cooked. It's really bad. And like nobody gave a shit and it really sucked. Like Armenians don't have allyship. Armenians don't have that kind of like media popularity. Like nobody really, we're a small country that has just been like ethnically cleansed and, and conquered t- through and through time and time and time and time. And nobody really, you know what I mean? And like I got shadow banned or like reported to like get my like pages deleted when I was talking about uh, the ethnic cleansing that was going on and like it's just crazy how media is like silenced and how like you know the algorithm can like snuff you or, or or block your page and like like even if you use the word armenian or genocide like i saw like i post a selfie and then i post some shit like that and it was like tanked tanked, really? and i was like fuck i'm literally mm. i'm literally being silenced behind the scenes and like nobody knows nobody can do you can't what are you gonna do you know what i mean mm. but go to these like in-person protests and still like I don't know. It's just not, it, it, it was, it was, it was it's scary times and people are experiencing that now as well. I mean, throughout history, like so many different countries, so many, that's why the work that I do is very important to me. Cause there's like so many smaller tribes and people and cultures that are fucking destroyed or erased or killed that like, we don't even know about. And there is like history that is just gone. And, I just think it's important to preserve that stuff and to keep those like stories alive or those traditions alive. And if it wasn't for like my grandparents, great grandparents surviving the Armenian genocide, like I would not fucking exist. So like my impact on this world, whatever the fuck I've done would be nothing. So like, it is so important. And even, even boiling down to like the art, the artifacts, the little stuff, like sure. It's not like saving lives, but it's saving a culture and an identity. And I think that's, really important you know so what's next for you paul like i know you're you're continuing to do this stuff you're what's the epoxy stuff you're doing? <clears throat> i mean that's that just i have a I, skull stuff yeah yeah i just came back oh. from armenia i was in armenia i was in armenia for two months i was working on some like museum restoration stuff and like just like i think i'm gonna like move to armenia like full time or like at least like half time of the year and just continue doing work out there and like integrating into like the local music scene and like just like cultural preservation and just like live in my like motherland i pay extra money here to fucking jeff bezos now because he owns fucking whole foods that motherfucker does not need more money but like i go to whole foods and buy into this lie of like organic because even organic food here is bullshit the concept Mm -hmm. of organic does not even exist in a place like armenia because it is literally from a village that day or the day before like that is where your food is coming from like or like yeah they import shit too but like the vegetation the fruit there's like grandmas on the street literally just selling shit from like their gardens like that is what you're eating and it is literally like a third or a like a quarter of the price like four times less i don't know how to fucking say that in geometry but less uh money a lot less money and like everything is less money. Everything is so much less money. The quality and of life quality. is better. Mm-hmm. I walk around everywhere. Um, I have more novel interactions because Armenia is kind of like a second world country. It's very like mini, like it is, it does have like a tinge of like a European city, but like society is like for sure, like t- t- fucking 20 years behind, which is mm-hmm. awesome because there's no, like, there isn't so much like iPad baby brain motherfuckers walking around. Like there's like real cute, like vintage human beings that like you could still have like human interactions with and they're not like fucking cooked to, to a crisp. They're, they're indoctr- their, their fucking brain chemistry is not absolutely cooked and fried. And like just novel human interactions, better quality food, better tasting food. Um, the, the nature is insane. I pay, you know, I, I'm, I'm an Airbnb bitch. I love Airbnb in the fucking woods or on a mountain or in fucking whatever the fuck and like just chilling or taking some mushrooms and being a nature bitch. I love doing that shit here. Cost me a gazillion dollars. Yeah. Armenia, 
cost me fucking i paid like 40 bucks and stayed in like this eco cabin like eight thousand feet above sea level fucking horses just running wild type shit like 40 dollars bro and like ate like drank their fucking homemade wine homemade goat cheese right so good <laughs> bro like i spent I stayed there for like two nights, ate their shit, did their shit, probably spent max a hundred bucks. Wow. And like I believe on it. some shit, 100%. on some shit that would have cost me thousands, uh, at least a thousand dollars in this country. And I'm like, yo, what am I doing? Like I live in Brooklyn, New York. I pay a shitload of fucking money to live there. And my costs every month are fucking expensive. Cause I'm getting fucking whole foods and bullshit like that. Yeah. And and I'm like inhaling literally poisonous air. I don't know. I, it's it, every time I go there, I'm like, bro, literally, what am I doing in this country? Like, it, it, and like, I my my um, friend had to go to the hospital because she was like food poisoned, and it was free. Like, they just like fixed her yeah. for free. They and I was like, yo, money. What? I was like, where do we pay? And they're like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I'm like, oh, word, okay, bitch, I'm out. I'm just like re right now. I'm like reconsidering my like life and like what I'm doing and like why I need to like. I don't know. I just wanna. I my my. I'm happier, and like I'm interacting with humans in a more like positive, healthy way. And there's like a sense of community. And of course, it's like my people. Um, so all the racists that would like message me shit like go back to your fucking country. I'm like, bitch, I'm going. Fuck y'all. Like you know what I mean. <laughs> but uh. Um, I don't know. It's just, and like, I tangibly feel better, like, like, because I'm amongst my people and my money is like getting distributed to the people of Armenia that do need it. Um, as opposed to like, again, Jeff Bezos, fuck you, dude. You know what I mean? Like, I'd rather like, even like consciously, like your energy, your your money, like, you know, on a spiritual level, like the time that you spend to make the money that you make to live the way you want to live. Like, where do those things go? What do those things fund? And I don't agree with a lot of the things that my money goes to in this country. Well, Paul, just, you know, thank you. First of all, thank you for taking so much time. You totally did not have to do that. And I really freaking appreciate it because this was really nice to speak with you. And one last question. So when you look at Big Brother after all this cool stuff that you do in your life, is it a positive experience? Is it something you think, you know what? That was a cool time in my life. I respect for what it was. Or are you like, is it a negative connotation in your mind? No. It's great. Uh, it's great in the sense that, like, I had experiences that I literally would have never had if it wasn't for that show. So, like, can't knock an experience. Whether an experience is positive or negative, like, it's still a fucking experience. I'm like, it, yes, there were negative experiences, but the positive experiences definitely outweighed the negative experiences. Doesn't make the negative experiences go away, necessarily, right? They both exist on the same plane. But the positive experiences are definitely positive enough to where I am not harping on the negative shit that came with it right so no it was cool and like again everybody that i have met after the fact or even like the little messages people send me of night like that shit helps it's nice it's nice every now and again someone sends me like this heartfelt ass paragraph and i'm Mm. like damn like that was really sweet like that's like the sweetest thing somebody has said to me in a fucking while and it came from a stranger and you know, I always let them know, like, thank you. That's, like, actually really kind. That was very sweet. Thank you for saying that to me. I know it's, like, some Gandhi shit where it's, like, be the change you want to fucking see in this world. But, like, honestly, the more pleasant you can fucking be when interacting in a society, I fully believe that it garners only, like, pleasant results. Like, I, I, I try to be super kind to people. Not for any reason other than to be fucking kind because it, it, it simply does make life easier. It makes life easier when you're just kind and nice and pleasant. And sometimes people are unpleasant back and, you know, you can choose what boundaries to set in those settings or you could choose to let it go or you could choose to press the person and be like, hey, fuck you. You don't have to be mean. And I've definitely had those too where I've been nice to someone and they were just rude. And I'm like, hey, you don't have to be a dickhead. You could, hey, be, I literally have to, I'm like, hey, be nice. Be fucking nice, dude. Like, you don't have to be a dick. I was so uh, unnecessary, like, like, red, red card. Don't be fucking mean, dude. It is unnecessary. If you have like a bad day, whatever it is, don't be fucking mean. Chill. Unnecessary, you know? And I, I don't know. Sometimes people snap out and they're like, oh shit, like, I was kind of mean. Yeah, Why maybe you're a right. fucking dick. Why are you being a dick, dude? Like, 
Why do you hate? Okay, I get it. You hate. You're having a bad day. Don't make it my fucking problem. Like, just be nice. Especially if I'm nice to you first. It's like, you know, I don't know. I agree. I, I totally agree. It's underrated. Well, I think that's a good note to end on. Um, Did you say it's underrated? Like kindness. Like people are just assholes sometimes. Like <clears throat> yeah, it's I live like, in New York. I live in New York. Like I, I'm, I'm not really paying attention sometimes, and I do something stupid. But I always apologize. Yeah, and like you know, my dad always used to tell me like everything is better with honey and not vinegar. Like honey is better than vinegar. If you're gonna do something, do it with honey and not vinegar. Like honey tastes better. And like if someone else is involved, you want it to taste good. Like honey tastes better, not vinegar. And then. I guess I should have learned that in my big brother experience, huh? I should have fucking applied that shit there. <laughs> it all comes. I was back like, "Here's ball. here's vinegar, bitches. Have it. Drink it. Also, vote for me, please." Yeah.